So here is our cast iron stack, and as you can see, it's like really rusty down at the bottom. There's some corrosion here too, probably from previous leaks that they've had in the past, and you know, the water's going to be down here, so most of your moisture will be down here. But see, right here is where we think there's this crack. So right here is where we think there's a crack. It might just be a chip in the paint. This is thick paint. So what we're going to do is use our sander here and try to buff that down a bit and just see. And either way, what we're probably going to do is we'll use some uh, JB Weld. So we use this a lot to you know patch up things like that. And this will work pretty good here on plumbing. So it says it works on multiple surfaces. So we'll give this a shot. So we've got the sander here. Let's see how it does. Actually, what we want to do is we're going to hook up our vacuum to this vacuum port right here to try to collect up any of the dust that comes flying out. And you always want to make sure you're wearing eyewear and a mask when you do this. Okay, so yeah, we don't have the connector for this because this is a proprietary DeWalt and we don't use the DeWalt vacuum yet. We're probably going to get one soon. But we're just going to stick our vacuum hose right down in that area so it'll catch anything that gets sanded out there. So here we go. So again, it's still hard to tell if it's just the paint kind of flaking or not. I don't know how much of here we can reach and get to. And we'll try one of our sand nets also, but let me see what I can get with this part. <laughs> yeah, so it does look like if you can get in here, you should be able to clean all that off. All right. All right. So here I got this uh, Diablo set of, of uh, 80 grit sandpaper, and that's probably what you would want to start with. But this particular kit was uh, one of those Black Friday bonuses, and it came with these sand discs. They call it, or th th these are sand net discs. So we're going to try this on there. So here you can kind of fold it up a little bit to give you a little more control over it, and then uh, try to just come in here and sand off some of the corrosion here. So you can see it's working. So we'll put the vacuum on and I'll do it again. Okay, so for the GB Weld, it's similar to Bondo, it's similar to all the other types of patches and fixes that have some type of an uh, epoxy component to them is we're going to mix up equal amounts and you just do it on a little surface that you don't ever need again and I'll put my cap on here okay so now I'm going to mix it up thoroughly so it should be sort of grayish when I'm done so you're mixing that white with the black and you kind of knead it around. Make sure you've gotten all the way through it here. And I'm going to scoop it here and apply it right on the area where the crack is. And then I'm going to try to get it down reasonably flat and smooth. See that? So it's going to be one with the pipe. And there you have it. So these old cast iron pipes are notorious for developing holes and cracks and leaks and we don't know how or why. It might be the sewer gases reacting with it. Maybe it's corrosive to it. We just simply don't know. Trying to get that one last little part right there. 
Okay, now you don't want to overplay with it too much because once you get it into position, it's going to start hardening on you. I'm just trying to, I'm still fighting with that little spot, see? Okay. Okay, so there it is all patched up and now we're just going to wait for it to dry. And then what we want to do is we want to spray our Rust-Oleum paint on here. Before we do this, what we're going to do is spray the whole thing down with another product that Rust-Oleum makes. I'll put a link to it in the description down below for you. You can see it there on your screen from the website. But that this Rust-Oleum, um, this is a, a primer that's also a rust inhibitor. So it will coat this entire cast iron stack right here with a protective coating that will keep any any further rust from happening. And probably even this wouldn't have developed any more than it was right now because there's no leaking going on back here at this time. So, uh, but at least we'll, we can seal it up and cover it and protect it. And then we'll put this top coat on here of protective enamel on top of that. And this thing should look pretty brand new by the time we're done. Okay, so we just finished the painting process here. So normally the way this works is what you want to do is wait until this is done curing your patch there. And that can be, you know, anywhere from four to six hours. You can let it dry overnight if you want and cure. So what you what we do then is we've come in and sprayed the, the rust inhibitor primer on first. And then we came in with the paint. So this is what you're looking at here. We just finished with the paint. So this now actually looks like a brand new cast iron stack. Everything? Yep. Good. Okay. Well, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, hey, would you do us a favor, please? Give us a thumbs up down below. That tells us that you like us. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, man, you can see all of the great engineering disasters that we help you get out of, folks. So make sure you come back and you know, subscribe and then click that little gray bell icon next to it. That tells YouTube to alert you every time we upload a new video because you don't want to miss one of our videos, folks. Lots of great engineering disasters, lots of great home remodeling videos. We have all sorts of videos for you on remodeling your kitchens. And uh, you can see here we've got videos on remodeling your bathrooms and, and tiling your floors. And then take a look at this one here too. We've got videos for uh, all sorts of tool reviews that we do and drop tests. I mean, we test things thoroughly for you folks. So anyway, thank you so much for joining us this week and we'll see you on the next one.